Welcome back to another Tinkercad tutorial using what we call the subtractive method. Now the subtractive method of modeling is used when we want to successfully cut away material from a solid block. So we're going to go ahead and create a block today that measures two and a quarter inches across by two and a quarter inches deep and one and a half inches tall. Once we have our solid block, we're going to look at removing that front left corner as well as the back left and back right. We will then go ahead and remove part of that L shape to get our desired shape. So in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and open up Tinkercad. Once you're in Tinkercad, you're going to need to create a new 3D design. Make sure you go ahead and give it a new name. And you're going to want to go ahead and check your grid to make sure that your units are in inches. Once you're ready to go, we're going to go ahead and use our box and bring that in. Once you have your box, we need to go ahead and adjust the size. So we're going to click that bottom right square and we're going to go ahead and give this a width of two and a quarter inches by a depth of two and a quarter inches and then our overall height, which is going to be one and a half. Now from there, we have our basic design, but what we're going to need to do is remove some of this material in order to get that puzzle cube piece. So what you have to keep in mind is that that puzzle cube piece is somewhere inside of this block. So we're going to go ahead and remove the back left and back right corner. In order to do this, we're going to use a new basic shape, which is our box with the striped lines. That's going to allow us to remove material when grouping it with our solid block. So we're going to go ahead and bring that striped box in. And from there, we're going to go ahead and change the dimensions. So we're going to go ahead and give this a width and depth of three quarters of an inch. Our height for this one though is going to be set to one and a half inches. We want that to match our solid model. Once you've created that shape, you're going to want to make sure you go ahead and select that duplicate. Once we duplicate, use your arrows to move that out. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the top of our shape. And from here, we're going to go ahead and place those in the back left and back right corner. So let's go ahead and select one of our boxes and we'll go ahead and use our arrow keys and we're going to toggle it over until we align it with the back left corner. Once that's aligned, go ahead to your next box and let's bring that one in until it aligns with the back right corner. Now that we have that aligned, what we're going to go ahead and do is remove this front left. So for this one, we're going to bring in another striped box, but our dimensions are slightly different for this. We're going to go ahead and give this a width of one and a half inches. The depth is going to measure at three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to go ahead and select the height and change that to one and a half inches as well. Now, once we have that box, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the top and we can go ahead and move that into that front left corner of our solid model. Now, what you will notice once you get that aligned, if we go ahead and take a look at that from our home view, those pieces are still there. So in order for that material to be removed, we're going to need to highlight the entire shape. And then up on our toolbar, we're going to go to this group option. We're going to go ahead and group all four of those components. Once we group all four of those components, you will notice that where we place those boxes, it is now hollowed out. Now, the next thing we need to go ahead and do is remove part of that L shape. And we're going to need to remove three quarters of an inch. So we're going to do this in two different steps. The first step, we're going to go ahead and bring in that stripe box. And again, we're going to go ahead and make this three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And our height is also going to be three quarters of an inch. Now that we have our design, what we need to do is place this on top of the shape and then bring it down three quarters of an inch. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our front view and we're going to use this black triangle. Once you click on that black triangle, you're going to drag that guy up until that bottom right dimension reads three quarters of an inch. Once it reads three quarters of an inch, we'll need to go back to that top view and we're going to go use our arrow keys to toggle that in place. So let's bring that down and we can bring him over a little bit. And once he is in place, we're going to go back to that home view. Now let's make sure that everything worked correctly. So we're going to draw the box. Notice that you now have a new feature, ungroup. We're going to want to make sure we click that group option or all your components will come back to the original way they were. So now you can see we've removed part of that L shape. 
So the last thing we need to do is go ahead and remove this large rectangle. So in order to do that, we're going to bring in another box here. And this time we're going to give this a width dimension of two and a quarter inches. We'll give it a depth of three quarters of an inch. And we'll also give this a height of three quarters of an inch. So go ahead and click that height button, change that measurement to three quarters of an inch. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Go to your front view, click on that object, use that triangle to bring it up three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to go back to the top view and toggle that into place. So once you have that into place, remember, just as before, we're going to go ahead and group our objects. So let's slide him over. Once he is in line, go back to your home view. And from here, let's go ahead and highlight the object and go ahead and select group. Once we go ahead and click off of that, you will now notice that we've used the subtractive method of modeling to create our puzzle cube piece.